Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, um, you, I'm, I'm coming to you as a very poorly Francesco. Uh, I am feeling a little ill today. Actually feeling ill for the last three days, but I'm I'm, I'm near the edge of that. I'm almost, I'm almost over it. Um, hence the lack of videos this week and hence a sort of weird video that I never really do. So this is going to be talking a little bit about Todoist's upcoming feature, which I want to talk about today. Amir has shared on Twitter. Amir is Todoist CEO. And a couple of you guys have mentioned it in the Keep Productive community on Facebook, which you can now go and join below. Uh, you Once you join, you can get really engaged all about productivity apps and also how to improve uh, your daily routine. There's so much great conversation going on there. Anyway, skip back to the 7th of February. Um, Amir shared this on social media. Very excited about the ability to pin objects to the left menu in Todoist, as it makes filters and labels much more accessible. Coming soon to all platforms, all platforms. So here we have uh, Amir's iPhone X um, running Todoist. And automatically, you can see some visual changes here. So normally in projects, I believe it is, um, actually it's a light, there's not too many visual changes. I'll explain it in a sec, but you can see here that obviously has to do as business. So normally you have the fixed states of inbox, team inbox, today and next seven days. He's got a label here. He's got a filter here too, so he can quickly access. This is basically pinning or actually the ability to uh, favorite something essentially you have it at the top accessible there now one of the things that not many people know about um, in Todoist is the actual ability to go over to settings um, over to general and hit the start date as a different day you can have it as today next seven days overdue today and tomorrow which I would prefer to have actually uh, but mine is normally today you can add a custom query too so if you want to add your own filter or even label setup then you can do that here so if I wanted to have it on uh, today and uh, days, if I hit save and then go out. And if I exit my Todoist and come back in, that's that. So that's today and next three days. So that's a little custom setup that you can have, but it's not something that everyone knows about. So that's a little bonus. So you can sort of do something like this already, but the actual ability to pin labels and filters is quite exciting. So that was the 7th of um, February. So Amir also tweeted on the 14th, uh, Valentine's Day, he said, ability to have favorite filters has completely changed the way I used to do it. Much easier to focus on the high impact stuff. This feature is still under development. So this is the Mac version. So you can see here that um, he's obviously got this set up. He's changed his uh, label to uh, a filter. So he's got two filters. Uh, and nothing's really changed with the design here on the left hand side. So everything's really stayed the same except for this next part. Now, um, this is a more updated version. So this is on the 20th. So he seems to be posting about this every seven days. Uh, I like his, I like Amir's style. Um, this is the iPhone X version. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments whether it is the iPhone X version that does this. But on my iPhone 6 Plus, I'll share a screenshot here. It doesn't structure it like this. Um, this seems like it's a new structure. The ability to create a project um, and drop down uh, from there is changed. So now it's a drop down on each of these and projects, labels and filters are all along the side. This is assuming, uh, this is uh, like an assumption I'm guessing that this can be as long as you'd like so you can pin whatever you want there and this is almost like a reference area if i'm right uh if all oh, i could be definitely wrong um the other addition here is that wasn't in the previous version so if i just head back to this one you can see here there's no search bar at the top and there is a search bar here uh you can also see um that his calm has changed so it just proves that it's a different date. Um, they may be testing the ability to search tasks up here too, which is a nice addition. You don't actually have to go, like I really struggle um, inside of Todoist if I'm if I'm wanting to search a task, I have to go into the three dots inside there. If I knew that it was there, I could quite easily search. So that's a nice addition. 
Now, you're probably wondering, wow, well, Francesco, how do I use that in practice? Well, um, look from our community. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Name right look, uh, look. You've got, uh, he is running the Todoist beta on OS X. Uh, so am I, but I don't actually have this yet. Uh, I am very envious. So, uh, looks just posted. Uh, this is the new layout for the Todoist beta on OS X. So he's obviously got his regular setup inbox today, next seven days, and he's also got, got the filter here. Um, so he's got the filter of today, less than 30 minutes. So maybe he'll be able to add a few more screenshots showing the whole view. But as you can see here, there's this new sort of uh, drop down setup that's a bit different. Um, now that's interesting because that would be available here. Um, and it does. It seems like they've re-envisioned this. So previously you'd have this, and I understand why they're doing this actually, because I find sometimes actually going into these every day is pretty, uh, you know, maybe a bit too stoppy and starty. <laughs> is that a thing? Um, and you can see that they've recreated it. So that's looks um, sort of approach to it. So this is a brand new feature. I'm assuming it's going to be available in the next two or three weeks. Um, they haven't actually given me any information um, yet, so I don't know. This is just my prediction. Um, what I'll do, guys, is I'll include the tweets in the description below so you guys can go away and sort of check out about it. Now, I do recommend uh, following the Todoist team and the Doist team in general on social media. Twitter, they have a great presence. Uh, I particularly enjoy following... Uh, the likes of Eric, Hugo, Alex, who I just interviewed for the Tools They Use podcast. So many great individuals. Um, and also follow Alex on Dribble too. Um, let me just do another sneak peek. So this is Alex, um, and he posted this. So this is quite interesting. To do is icon style exploration. As you can see here, these are a few of the icons that Alex is playing around with. So uh, it's a potential opportunity uh, at, at a few different views. Um, so imagine you've got, uh, oh, get my to-do stuff. Imagine you've got a few of those icons being replaced here uh, or up and about. So it's actually small things that Alex is working on, but they can make a huge impact to your experience, making it a lot more fluffier. Anyway, guys, um, I hoped that you enjoyed today's feature. It was a bit of a weird one to do a stop coming feature, but I hope you found it useful. Uh, thanks to everyone who is in the Facebook group. It's always great to see your stuff, and you always tend to nudge me uh, about new things. Um, looks like Maria here. Is, you actually can pin, a pro pin projects and labels too. Um, I don't know whether it will be projects yet, Maria. That's probably something they're working on. Um, and Aaron, actually, I'm not a fan of this new layout. I like being able to pin labels and things, but not the horizontal tabs and not the new drop downs. I'm going to have to play around with it, guys. But Aaron, I, I feel your sort of process there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. Okay. Okay.